Yes, welcome back. We're going straight away to our own tame weevil over there because <laughs> she certainly hasn't fallen down do over the numbers. Them, I've fallen down on this one. Shame on me. I should have known my 75 times table because 7 times 10 obviously is 70. Add one of the fives that gives us 75. 8 plus the other five, that's 13. 13 75s, as I did know, but not quickly enough, is 975. No, no applause. No applause, please. Save it for these two chaps. Simon Pride on 12 and Steve Barry on 20. And Steve Barry on 20 is now going to choose his letters. Consonant, <coughs> Consonant please, Carol. G. And another. T. And another. And M. And a vowel. E. And another vowel. A. And another vowel. I. And a consonant. R. Another consonant. Y. And a vowel, please. And A. Thank you, Steve. This is round five, and this is the countdown clock music starting now. Six. Six. Simon. Uh, seven. Right. Six from Steve. It's Mirage. Yes, you saw Mirage, but you didn't see the seven. Migrate. Migrate, yes. That's our best. The greater team. word there, mm. migrate, is there for seven. Good. Anything else? No, we can't beat them at all. No, well, that's very good indeed, Simon, for your seven. So, striking distance, 19 and 20. And your turn, Simon. I'll start with a vowel, please, Carol. O. And another vowel. E. And another vowel. I. And a consonant. P. And another consonant. N. And another consonant. T. And another consonant. Z. And another consonant. D. And... Uh, vowel, please. And a vowel, thank you. And A. Thank you. Here we go on round six. Simon. Seven. Steve. Seven. <laughs> um, Steve, seven. Pointed. Pointed. Simon. And pointed. And well. pointed. Yep, okay. Well, we accept both of those. Obviously, pointed. Seven. Very good. Looks as though something good is coming up here. The pen cam is out. Yes, sir. Derek's getting excited. What have um, you got, Derek? Well, we are an antipode. Antipode, as is in Australia. Antipode. What's that? Like antipodes. Oh, antipodes. It actually means, when it's not pluralised, it means the exact opposite. <laughs> um, now then, what is the score after that? 26 and 27. Yeah. Steve, let's have your letters, please. A consonant, please, Carol. T. And a consonant. W. And consonant. R. And consonant. F. And a vowel. O. And another vowel. U. And a third vowel. E. And consonant. C. And consonant. And T. Yes, thank you. Last letters game in the frame. Here we go.
six. Good. Simon? Six as well. Simon, six. Uh, cutter. Cutter yours, Steve? Is cutter. Yeah, and they're so evenly matched these two. Just the one point between the two, and absolutely neck and neck, of course. Cutter. Mm. Cutter. Yeah. In red. There it is. Else you want? No. no. No, well, okay. Well, it's uh, there you go. Everyone's just got a cutter, so that's it. No dispute. So on we go 32 and 33. Now then, last and final and second numbers game to be chosen by Simon. Um, I'll have one from the top row, please, Carol, and five from any way you choose. And five small numbers. Yep. All right. I thought you might play some tactics there, but obviously not. We have then 10 and 1, 4 and 8. Six and 75 this time. Could have helped in the last numbers game. And the target is 803. OK, 803, chaps. Here we go. Eight oh three, and we can all get eight hundred. But can we get the three, Simon? Eight oh three, yeah. Yes, Steve. Eight oh three. Right. Okay, Steve. Uh, Seventy five plus six. Seventy five plus six is eighty one. Multiply by ten. Multiply by the ten, and eight hundred and ten. If you take eight minus one, which is seven, take that away. Eight oh three. Yeah, good, Simon. Um, Seventy five plus four. It's 79. Yeah, 75 plus 4 gives you 79. Well, times that by the 10 is 790. 790. Add the 8 and the 6 and take off the 1. Okay, I uh, plus 6 minus the 1 gives you 13. Add that on. Yes, 803. Right, well, this is really very good indeed. It's been a really tight game. We look, 42-43, so it's all down to the conundrum. And, of course, a great chance for Steve to become the champion here. And Simon uh, must hang on, obviously. So, enough of me. Please now reveal today's crucial countdown conundrum. I wanted to press, but he had nothing to say, so it's not hot pocket. This is what it is. <laughs> Toothpick. Yes, there it is. Look at it again. Toothpick. Very good indeed. Well, look, what a game, mate. What a game. With 43 points to Steve and 42 to Simon. The new champion by that one point is this young man here, the very talented Steve Barry. <laughs> OK, well, well done, uh, Steve. Uh, excellent, indeed. Very good game and well fought. But for you, the news is good. We're saying goodbye to you. We won't see you uh, on Monday, of course, but we will see you towards the end of the series because with your great track record, you are now number two seed so far when you come to the, uh, the quarterfinals. So it's been a great run. I hope you've enjoyed it. Very much so, yes. Thank you okay. very much. The best of luck in your studies as you uh, go away from us for the next three or four weeks and we'll uh, see you in due course. So, goody bag for you, Simon, and our best wishes for a great run of six very good uh, games there. Simon Pride. <laughs> so now we have, we all have a new champion, and we, of course we have a new challenger, this lady, Sue Winter. Hello, Sue. Hi. Now, you've got your, a job on your hands for Monday, have you, do you think? Yes. Yeah. Did you get that conundrum? I did. Oh, you did? Mm. Well, well, well. OK, well, Sue Winter will be here. Sue and Steve on Monday, but uh, for all of us here in the studio, from Derek and Peter and Carol. Yes, goodbye. OK, from all of us here, have a great weekend. Goodbye. <laughs>
It's Ricky Lake next on 4 with a show called You're Old Enough to Be His Mother, Date Someone Your Own Age. <laughs>